hello friends i am extremely glad to see you again in my channel if you not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel without wasting the time let's jump into the lab let me show you to how the packet is flowing from pc1 to pc2 within the vlan so let's generate a pin packet from pc1 to pc2 the pc2 have an ip address uh, 192.168.100.3 and we are generating from packet from their ping packet let us start to do the ping 192.168.100.3 we have to hit enter so let me show you the uh, the pc one does not know the uh, mac address of pc two so they um, the pc one generate the app as per the app process if i open the packet here same here you can see the ping process starts to uh, request the uh, and the ping uh, process creates an icmp eco request message or just a uh, ping process has happening so in this ping, uh, ping packet we need an uh, layer 2 address so we have only layer 3 address source and destination and the protocol icmp type 8 so uh, the destination IP address is the same subnet so uh, it is in same subnet the device sets the next hope to the destination and uh, the next hope IP address is in Unica so our process looks it up the app table so because the app is um, it generates the app table to know the MAC address of uh, the same uh, 192.168.100.3's uh, MAC address so it is in same subnet so it broadcasts this packet so the uh, it the, uh, sends the app request for this IP address and uh, and the ping packet uh, remains in buffer uh, on that time when the app has been completed so uh, uh, that will so here the L2 switch uh, does not know the MAC address uh, of the IP I mean, here you can see that uh, it does not have an IP address so it uh, MAC address of an PC2 so it broadcast that address if you see here at L2 switch it uh, here it will broadcast the IP address here the ports are connected one is connected to uh, the switch one and another is connected to the switch two which is in, in on trunk so that's why it uh, sends the packet from both uh, the two interfaces except the while it receive that packet from fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and uh, the other vlan 200 which is not in the part of 100 vlan so it does not broadcast that packet into 200 so here you can see if i can go the frame source mac address does not exist is on the mac table of a switch so as we show here and then uh, the frame destination mac address is broadcasting within all apps up and so here you can see the frames destination mac address matches the receiving port mac address the broad uh, the device decapsulate the pdu from the encapsulation frame and the frame is an r r frame and the r process processes it and the active vlan interfaces is not up so the r process ignores the frame and uh, this is the broadcast frame the switch sends out the frame to all the ports on the same vlan except the receiving port and also on the trunking port it will broadcast there as well so the is sets out the frame and sends out the frame why it is an uh, if i uh, it will uh, it will send uh, the frame out from this as well
so we will start next and uh, the pc2 receives the frame and it receives that frame this r packet and it and decapsulate that packet and once it decapsulate that packet it uh, see its own ip address uh, and uh, uh, decapsulate this packet and see the r uh, packet and r process the packet and send the its mac address to the destination as you see i open the packet as well to show you so here up uh, request targets ip address matches the receiving port ip address so our process processes updates the update with receiving information what the uh, pc1 wants the information for the app app uh, it will re address resolution protocol it resolve the packet from there and uh, then it uh, replies that packet and uh, then the, it uh, encapsulate that packet again and sends its uh, own uh, mac address it is an source mac address means it is my mac address and the destination mac address is the pc one mac address so once uh, the and frames out when the pc one uh, receive that packet and then when, when uh, then it knows that uh, the source mac address and destination mac address as well though our process takes out the packet from the buffer and resend it the and the device encapsulate the pdus into the frame so once it encapsulate uh, encapsulate the pdu into the ethernet frame so it uh, sends that ping packet uh, out from icmp packet out from the layer 2 and then it sends here so now we can check uh, i will show you one more thing the mac address table have now entry of both uh, their uh, fast 0 slash 3 and the VLAN 100 have an fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. So um, they knows the MAC address of PC1 and PC2 on the MAC address table to maintain this MAC address as a switch behavior. So after that uh, the ICMP packet flows uh, as you see it will send the reply to the PC1 and uh, this is happening on uh, now we can uh, ping uh, to 200 uh, pc3 from pc1 and see what the behavior uh, it was uh, because uh, uh, on there we need an uh, l2 l3 routing here so to route that vlan 100 packet to the vlan 200 so we need a router or layer 3 device to communicate from VLAN 100 to VLAN 200. So let's start with the, to see the packet process in the inter VLAN between the two different VLANs. So let's start with to do the um, uh, to complete this process. We can click on real time. So we receive the packet and now on the simulation mode we go uh, again the simulation mode we check what is the ip address of uh, it's a 200.2 .2 and the inter vlan routing was happening here on the router so i will open a piece the pc again and i uh, we will ping to the pc3 and once 92.1 168.200.2 .2. Uh, the pc2's ip address i hope it is 200 or 2 once um, we will make sure again 200 or 2 okay so we start to hit the enter and the same was happening because it uh, this uh, the pc does not have an mac address uh, of uh, uh, um, the PC3 so it generated the ARP process as uh, earlier said but in this time uh, the ARP process construct the request to target the IP address so so that uh, it will send out 
it it because it has a uh, here what is the difference between the same vlan and and vlan 200 uh, when uh, it requires the mac address of pc3 does not have an uh, pc3's mac address it has a different subnet so it requires the gateway's mac address it needs the mac address of the gateway which it has set on the pc so right now the gateway is set 192.168.100.1 so it can send the packet uh, it it needs the mac address of uh, the gateway's ip address and uh, so here and the r process construct the target ip address and decapsulate and uh, yes and uh, we have it uh, when it when the switch receives the packet and uh, it will uh, see that uh, uh, it needs the uh, MAC address of 100.1 and the frame of the MAC address was found in the MAC table because it has a MAC address of uh, its own here if I show you show IPR it has here show up show IP up oh uh, it is an actually layer 2 device and uh, layer 3 if you hit here So frames destination MAC address broadcast the switch process the frames the frames destination MAC address matches the receiving of MAC address and the device decapsulate the PDU and Ethernet and frame up the acting VLAN interface is not up the R process ignores the frame the prod it the switch sends out the frame uh, to know the MAC address of uh, 192.168.100.1 so uh, the mac uh, the so the it will send out from the vlan 200 as well as the trunking port which is allowed on the layer 3 so it will send on the pc2 and but pc2 does not have an ip address of uh, 192 data, so it ignores that packet and uh, the ip address of 100.1 the gateway's ip address uh, the gateway is assigned here so it accepted that packet so when it receives that packet and it uh, it sees that uh, my i my mac address my mac address is 192.168.100.1 its mac address is that's mine uh, ip address so it can uh, send the and decapsulate the PDU from 801 to tagging. Uh, it's an uh, trunking interface, so that's why the um, it will and decapsulate this uh, packet with 802.1q, and uh, the R process processes it and send the packet back and uh, to the uh, as per the R process sends. When it receive the packet layer two you see uh, it will uh, see that now it has an mag uh, r sends that packet to here so now it uh, received um, the mac address uh, from uh, the gateway which it requires so now it will send the packet uh, to the gateway with an uh, l and the packet will go here and in there uh, pc does not have an mac address of uh, the destination 192.168.200.2 so it uh, route uh, it uh, route that packet and uh, sent out the packet from the gig zero there once it receive the packet and it will do the same thing it 
will send the packet to uh, the VLAN 200 for this query so once it uh, receive that packet and it will send the reply back for the R process of uh, uh, router so now the router knows then MAC address of 200.2 so then it will uh, out that packet uh, okay we can ignore these STPs and CDPs right now so the ICMP packet now sent to the VLAN 2 and it will send the receives receive the packet and reply back to the same so uh, you can see here the first packet will drop because the um, the it uh, the router do not uh, know the MAC address of PC3 so now I show you the ARP process here here now it knows the MAC address of uh, the 200.2 uh, which is uh, in this uh, gig ethernet slash 0 slash 0 dot 200 it is in sub interfaces we will cover in later on